you're welcome. Try this problem out and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so they want to know the solution to this equation is which of the following. So they want us to solve for x. And I'm going to do that. I could use the quadratic formula here, but if I just isolate x squared, I think it'll go a little bit um, smoother. So let me subtract 98 on both sides. Okay. What does that get me? That tells me 4x squared equals negative 98. Then I divide by 4 on both sides. So that tells me that x squared, this is going to reduce to negative 49 over 2. And then x squared would be the square root of that. So we take positive or negative square root of negative 49 over 2. Now the square root of negative 49 is just 7i. The idea is that if you have the square root of negative 49, that's the same thing as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 49. By definition, the square root of negative 1 is i, and the square root of 49 is 7. So it's i times 7, or 7i. But we can't break down the square root of 2 any further. And we don't leave square root in denominators as a custom. And I'm not really sure the f further reason than that. Uh, but it's called rationalizing the denominator. If you know the reason, please let me know. So it's going to be plus or minus 7i times the square root of 2. So I'll write like this i, put the i in front, times 7 square root of 2. And the square root of 2 times itself is just 2. So let's see if we have that choice. And it looks like we do, just wrote it in a different way. It's choice 4. All right, I hope that helped.